Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well. With the release of the Monaco e Prix circuit in R Factor 2 and of course the official race on the weekend, I thought I'd have a go at a half length race here, so 22 minutes or thereabouts. Um, I ran a qualifier where I placed 13th, but to give you an idea of how close that was, the first 15 cars were all within um, under a second of each other, so hopefully it makes for some pretty close racing here. Let's get this underway and see how we go. Um, e Prix layout is obviously a lot shorter than the uh, the official GP circuit. No, it's just over a mile long, so about 1.7k. So just over a half the length of the official. Oh, oh, oh. A lot of people know it as the karting track. So a bump there. Um, probably on my own here, I actually think that it suits these cars in this series to a T. Provides for some really close racing, which the series has been known for so far. Uh, obviously, there's no room for error. Um, I'm actually really surprised on the weekend that there weren't more incidents than there were. Also, very nice to see Massa on the podium. So, as you can see, very short over and under a minute, hopefully, if I don't spin out into the wall. <coughs> Very easy here to um, scrub the tyres out or flat spot. Got to be very careful with your braking. So that section there that we just went through, so down Kennedy, uh, and the double right-hander is really only the the only new section here that isn't part of the classic GP circuit. So you know we've just come through Chiron there and then swimming pool. And we're heading up to Rascus. And as you can see, there really is no room for error at all if you're on the whole time. So because of that, I didn't um, I didn't make any settings changes to um, tyre wear or battery usage even though it's a half length I've set the time to 2 by so effectively time will tick away the same rate as the race um, but I haven't I haven't touched dare touch tyres or, or, or battery usage I didn't want to have to manage that here I don't know how you do it in real life come through to back there try and stay off that armco Actual cars are flat out through that section there at Chiron, but I'm sorry, I'm just not I'm not good enough. And on the gas, so low 44s, uh, 54s is what I'm clocking in at. Um, I think that's about as good as I'll get here. Not a pro. Um, I'm sure that people will be able to get very close to the actual driver's times here. Probably need to adjust my um, steering lock for this circuit too. I think it's far too high. actually makes it a very technical circuit here um, and with all these off camber corners this car being so rear heavy and rear biased makes it quite a challenge it, uh, it wants to step out on you under acceleration and it wants to step out on you under braking on these corners un under acceleration there as we come down Kennedy As you can see, we need far too much lock there to get around. Although, having a higher steering lock does 
help me win with not oversteering too much, I guess. Which would be an issue in this car. Seem to be able to catch these guys up on the straights, but they lose me through those twisty sections, he says as he locks it. Oh, nearly loses it there. I had an attempt at this last night um, and I probably wouldn't have done it again if the, actually driving this car isn't so, um, and this circuit isn't so enjoyable. Um, <laughs> I crashed on the last lap, so basically down tools, walked away, got a drink. It's giving me some pressure from behind here. Hopefully, I can fend him off. Just gotta make sure I get some good exits. Not quick enough to hang with the guys ahead, it would seem. Yeah, I would definitely recommend having a higher steering lock than I'm running for this. I'm running 540. I might see us elite. <coughs> I'm really not sure how you could take that flat out, even going out wider there. Even braking earlier in this car is, is quite hard because, because of the rear bit. Oh wow. Because of that rear bias, it doesn't matter how far forward you set the braking, it, uh, it tends to lock the rears very easily. Just felt it locked then, and then completely messed that up. Lucky that old mate actually hit the uh, armco then, otherwise he would have had me, I think. Trying not to flat spot big time here. well and truly lost the guys ahead, hopefully they uh, <laughs> have an accident. As I understand it, originally Formula E was supposed to run the full circuit this year. Um, I think most of the drivers wanted to do it. So I'm not sure why it didn't happen. There's a few rumours floating around that certain people in the other series didn't want it to happen because the Formula E cars would have been almost as quick, if not as quick, around Monaco. Because the other series cars can't get up to top speed here. Even though it's got... I guess it's got... I think it's got the slowest and the fastest corner in the in the Grand Prix calendar. The straights aren't long enough. Whether that's true or not, I guess we won't know until two years from now if they get to actually have another crack at it. <coughs> Definitely running to I'm overrunning that corner there, that first corner. I'm not getting the right line through there at the moment. And that double right hand hairpin is, is making it difficult for me too. It's more like a uh, Formula E car. all over me. Just managing to keep him at that half second mark. That was a bit better. 
As you can see with the car though, it's um, you really can feel what it's doing. So you can control these slides when it, it does start to let go, you can feel that you can control it. It's the same with the tyres too, you can feel when they're slipping and when you're locking them up too. So you can, if you're quick enough, you can modulate your brake and kind of minimise any flat spotting. Which is really nice to see. Oh, completely book that. straight's the only let up you get, or rather this straight is the only let up you get. See that front lock up then? <laughs> so I've got the brake set to 70, 75 percent power brake um, disc covers I think are at 40 just to keep the temp up a little bit radiator is set to 25 power is 250 um, we've got the AI set to 95 and 35 aggression and a 3% modifier um, I found that they run really well at 95 <coughs> anything below that uh, and they tend to have issues on the start line for some reason, I'm not sure why. Um, it's like some of them just won't get off the grid, others will. Um, they don't plough into each other, but it will cause a, um, it'll cause a full course yellow. So I don't know what's going on there. Uh, 95 for me anyway provides for a pretty close racing experience here, obviously. I'm not pulling away from my mate, he's gaining on me and I'm losing him at certain sections and obviously the lead pack has just pulled away on me so it's provided a pretty pretty decent experience and no um, no smashes so far too so better than the actual race on the weekend although <laughs> I think they did well to have as few accidents here as they did So 10 remaining, so we're over halfway. Seem to be doing all right. 13th to 5th, and I can see the guys in the distance. But that might be because we're catching up to some back markers, maybe. Maybe. But they are pulling ahead a little bit there now, aren't they? It's a high speed section though, so... breaking a little bit earlier, I feel like I'm wussing out a bit. Oh no no no, that's a lot slower that lap. <coughs> well, with this circuit you've really got to keep an eye out for the brake markers. up then. Get on it quick there. Well, let's leave him. Ooh, concentrating then, that was a bit quicker. Put a bit of a gap on him now in the straight. Very surprised at the AI, I don't lose at that section there. And it's a testament to the work that the guys have done here, especially with the AI lines. And as you can see too, the, the track's running really well my machine, I haven't had any performance issues, oh. Oh. <laughs> except for my own performance issues, I haven't had any performance issues here, it runs really well, no, no glitches or pops or anything, 
Um, and I don't run a monster rig, I'm running a 1070 um, original, not a TI. And it's running at uh, 1440p. So well and truly above 60 FPS as well, so it's pretty good. all over me. So if I can keep him at bay, I'd really like to finish in fifth. Go, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Way too early there, I broke way too early. Sorry that I'm not attacking these other guys ahead, I just could not hang with them. And I think I'm going to have a fight to the end with this guy, though. It's a stunning circuit, it's pretty you don't. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> have enough, have a chance to actually appreciate it. Car's okay. Got to be coming up to the five minute mark soon. Just need to make sure I keep it together for that. going. We're probably getting a little bit warm, especially through these sections. Not <coughs> tie wear, not too bad. Go, go, go. That was better. Super impressed with how the AI run here. I don't think I've taken Raskas right once this whole race. It's not a leisurely drive, that's for sure. <coughs> I think I've done well to not flat spot that. Jesus out of this car too. Oh. <laughs> oh, done it again. That was horrendous. Just keeping that guy at bay, half a second away. Put some time in on the straight, <laughs> and then let him catch up. Come on. Oh. 
That was a big mistake. Come on. He's right on me. He's right on me. Go, 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 go. <coughs> through there. That's a little bit better. Oof. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh no, 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 no. I don't know if it's the tyres going or if I'm just missing that braking marker a little bit. few mistake these last couple of laps, that's for sure. Chattering away there on the brakes. Okay. A little bit of a breather there. Come on, mate. Well, I think that was the uh, best Raskus yet. <sighs> One lap from the end. So is that it? Is that it? I guess not. I guess the other guys are on there. Oh, wow. Wow, he nearly had me at the end then. Whew. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, uh, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and I'll be sure to upload more content soon. Thanks, everyone. Bye.